Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today I'm going to tell you why you need a smart switch. Now this is a smart switch, TP-Link. It's a great one. We recommend this for uh, businesses, small businesses with VoIP phones. Uh, this is also a PoE switch. Now, if you are going to have the switch right next to you, you probably don't need one. But if this switch is in a different office, a different building, a different city, it's essential that you get a smart switch. Now, here is the reason why. First of all, this has got an IP address on it. So from a support purpose, you can ping this. It has a web interface. You can connect to the web page on here to see which wires are plugged in, which ports, whether it's responding, how much traffic individual ports are. So you can actually see what's going on on the switch. Now, it also has loop detection, which means if someone's plugging in cables improperly here, it's gonna generate network loops uh, and really it can take down your entire network. So if you got weird performance problems, it might be a cable that's uh, plugged in wrong. Loop detection, this will actually notice it. It will shut down. It will turn off that port to get rid of the network loops. Uh, there's VLANs on here. VLANs are incredibly important for locking down and securing your network. You can create different uh, groups of network equipment like computers, like phones, like IP cameras, and you can give them different rules on your router to say that uh, VoIP phones do not get internet access. They don't get access to servers uh, like laptops do. And so you can say, you know, port 2 on here is for a phone. And, you know, if someone unplugs the phone, tries to plug in a laptop or a computer, they're not getting the internet, they're not getting access to uh, servers or anything else, and so you can really lock down your computer by being, using VLANs. Smart switches have uh, port-based VLANs as well as tag-based VLANs, so that's really, really great. And then, uh, not necessarily a smart fe uh, switch feature, but PoE is really important if you've got access points for Wi-Fi or IP phones, VoIP phones or IP cameras, uh, you can plug them in here. You don't need extra uh, power adapters. It's all in here. And then, you know, if someone says my phone isn't working you, and, and for whatever reason you cannot connect to that via IP in a web browser, you can simply go in here and say uh, power cycle that port. And so the phone will uh, turn off because the power has been removed. And then you turn the power back on via the web interface on here. And then the phone reboots and then... You know, that solves 90% of the, the problem. Now, other features that are not like uh, incredible, but very useful. Uh, and one is SNMP, which is Simple Network Management Protocol. This switch or any smart switch that has SNMP will uh, send information to your server to say it's been on for this long, this is the status for the ports, this is how much volume, a whole bunch of different statistics. And so you can put that on your dashboard to say, okay, here's all the switches, this is the performance, this is how long, this is when it was last rebooted, a lot of information. So SNMP is very useful. QoS is quality of service, and what it does is it ensures that if this is running at, at capacity or over capacity, that your voice and your video always takes priority. And so you're not going to end up with quality problems for your voice or your video because that traffic takes precedence over file downloading and YouTube and whatever. Uh, spanning tree is very important. Spanning tree allows you to take uh, multiple redundant links. Uh, so if a wire gets cut that normally provides network to the rest of your network, uh, you don't need just to rely on one, but you can have two or multiple links. And if wire gets cut, well, you have a redundant link where that goes. If you don't have SLA and you try and put redundant cables, uh, you're going to end up with a network loop and it's going to build up network traffic and network traffic until it takes down your entire network. So you can't do that unless you have spanning tree or SLA. Port mirroring is a very good feature here. What it means is if uh, normally you, uh, you've you got a traffic going between your PBX and your VoIP phone, for instance, and you need to diagnose that traffic, well, how do you capture it? It's very difficult. But with port mirroring, you can say all traffic that's in port one also goes to port eight. Then you plug your laptop into port eight and you capture all that traffic so you can see exactly what's happening between the phone and your phone system. Uh, and so that's a great support feature. Now, there's a level of, of switch above this called a managed switch, and they're many times more expensive. They've got a lot more complexity and great for enterprise where you need really high port density, a lot more ports. But one feature that's useful that doesn't appear 
on smart switches is what's called a port isolation and what that means is on any particular port a user cannot see traffic or access computers or printers on any other port so if you're in a hotel or in a restaurant a hospitality or some other sort of public venue uh, you really don't want uh, traffic from one uh, user going to another it might be because a computer has a lot of viruses on it and you don't want it infecting other computers so port isolation keeps the traffic completely separate uh, between uh, uh, ports on the switch and you typically need a managed switch for that I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report you can find this switch on our online store at www.buyphonesonline.ca uh, lots of other great similar products like this and other uh, smart switches also check out our YouTube channel www.youtube dot com slash Helia Canada uh, we've got new videos all the time and uh, please subscribe to our channel and you'll get notified when we uh, when we have other uh, interesting uh, videos coming up I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report we really appreciate you watching and uh, until next time bye for now